your clothes don't say something, you might as well not exist. Hi, how are you? I see you met Prince Davies, and judging by your face, it wasn't what you were expecting. Since Keith died, yeah. Some days are better than others. Helping Pete cope has come at a high price. Because if I didn't, he'd just find his own poison. I'd rather know he wasn't getting laced chems, or just taking too much at once. But I think there might be a better way to help him. It's a bit of a delicate plan, so let's talk it over at Marb House. Meet me when you're ready. When... It's the rhythm and the harmony. Without you, that battle might have gone differently. Pull your hat out of your well, where you're well, going. Well, well, I can tell you ain't one of those gentry folk. Will it be? Take a look. Enjoy. I almost hope Miller attacks again. I want to off him and little boys for everything they've done. I'm glad you showed up. Well, you don't need to be a detective to figure out I'm the one supplying chems to Prince Pete. Because if I didn't, he'd have found another supplier, and another supplier wouldn't have rationed him. Prince Pete's getting worse, and the Roundels have been without a leader for too long. We can get him clean. It won't be easy, because if someone notices he's missing, there'll be a riot. Well, I would tell you right away, but before I say anything else, I need your word that this stay between us. One careless whisper, and we're inviting everyone with a grudge to come attack. Or worse, we'll start attacking each other. Without Pete, there's a power vacuum, and there are people like Dennis waiting for their chance to lead. Good, because we need to move fast. I've already identified the perfect safe house, right here in Hackney. 
I'll mark it on your map. I need you to scope it out, make sure it's as safe as it looks from the outside. And that it has all the necessary bits and bobs. A sturdy door. Pete may not have his old strength, but even a weakened man desperate for chems can knock down a few rickety planks tacked together. A cooler. That's essential to hold the detox supplies. And a bed. He's still a prince. This process will be rough, and he needs a comfortable place to get through it. While you're doing that, I'll get Pete ready. Meet me back here once the building is ready. Every day, we take a little piece back. What and what do you want? Companion? Yep. There's a problem. Ding, ding, ding. Our new little hitch in the plan are hooligans. A whole lot of them. This isn't their usual territory. The blighters are getting bolder every day. They need to go. They're camped out on the most direct route to the safe house. I already looked into it. It's too risky. Pete's way too likely to be seen unless we take him along this path. And leave Pete alone in Marp House with all my chems. Are you mad? Good to hear. Once they're gone, we'll meet you there. Deep in the dark, I like to When the dark, sun's in your I eyes, even you look proper dark. dressed.
What the? End of the law. <laughs> If your clothes don't say something, you might as well not exist. Pete's in worse shape than I feared. It means we need an extra step in the detox process. He's got all kinds of illnesses and frailties from years of living with a compromised immune system. He's so weak, going straight into a detox would likely kill him. We wean him off, give his body some time to heal. Judging by the looks of him, we'll need three doses of antibiotics and probably some Morphex to help him through the worst of it. Find it, buy it, make it. You've been in old Blighty long enough to know where to find chems. That's not what I normally deal in. And hurry. The longer we wait, the more likely it is someone will find us. Welcome, welcome. Take a look. Watch where you're going. Oh, you're back. We think they've done. Need help? I might have what you're looking for. Maybe I should go find Uncle Ned.
must be a good day. Prince Pete's music choices actually sound a bit happy. I swear the sun rises earlier when you're out dancing. Do you have everything? Give them to Pete. I'll prepare the sober. What the bloody hell's going on here? Just like I said, Mike took Prince Pete out to the middle of nowhere. Mike, what are you doing? Offing Pete, obviously, and he's roped in this lackey to help. We're getting Pete clean. So suddenly you have a change of heart. We all know you've been pumping Pete full of cans. With Pete out of the way, good old Manchester Mike will lead the roundels. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it, Mike? Mike, if you wanted control, we could have talked about things. A chem pusher doesn't talk, he deals. So what are you dealing Pete today? We've given him antibiotics, Joan. We're helping him. In a shack where no one can see or hear you. And your only witness is someone you implicated. Someone you can easily blackmail. Roger, please, you have to believe me. I just wanted the old Pete back. Of course not. You've been with me since the beginning. Have you, though? Was there any point where Mike was alone with Pete? He could be filling him full of other cans. So when you give Pete the last bit of this miracle cure, the blood looks like it's on your hands. We tried once long ago, but Pete wasn't in the right mental state. He went harder on the chems after that. But he's had time now. It's just that his body... That's your excuse for stashing Prince Pete here in a shack where no one could find you. How stupid do we look, Mike? You've done all this to kill him where no one could find him! If you truly had his best interests at heart, you would have done this back at the shop! We could have all looked after Pete that way, Mike. If you're not going to speak up, I'm just going back to what I was doing. I don't know that we are. This doesn't have to end this way. You're right, Dennis. It doesn't. Let me help Pete. I think you've helped quite enough, Mike. Think you've helped... that might so we can watch your deceitful murder what would he have to gain by that if we see him kill pete he's as good as dead if i see one dodgy move mike mike won't be making any moves what do you mean pete still needs sober and he'll get it but not by your hand you you give it to him and we'll all watch Hurry. Pete's not doing so well. What you do now needs your utmost attention. Inject the sober, gently, in his carotid artery. Make sure there are no air bubbles, and keep your hand as still as possible. His body's weak, so too much shaking and you could bruise his neck bad enough that he can't breathe. He just needs a final dose of sober. Pete! 
Pete, are you okay? Be gentle. His body's still in rough shape. Yeah. But I can see that old fire in his eyes again. I can't believe you're with us again. Thank you. All of you. I know I haven't been myself for... Well... For a long time. <clears throat> and I'm still not. Not yet, anyway. But this... This setting aside of differences to help family. That's what being a Roundel has always been about. From here on out, I'll be the leader you deserve. Not just the old Pete, but a new Pete. One ready to live up to those ideals. It's Miller's men! They're here! Where's Miller now? The houses have fallen. They're inside Oberon. Plus Glam and Mab House. They're everywhere in Cordor Street. We fight. Every day we take a little speck of what we lost. Pull your hat out your eyes and get it properly fitted, you numpty! 